Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming a shop my stash and I have a really pretty soft glam look in mind. And I did say I was going to talk about those two weird dates I went on in my next shop my stash. And yes, that's going to be happening today. So before we get started, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. So I'm starting with these in my filming basket. I wanna revisit these. So this is the HD Skin Twist and Light Powder from Makeup Forever. And I have the Milk Makeup Infinity Eyeliners. So now let's get into the top drawer, which holds all of my base products as well as brows. So I'm going for a soft glam look today. So I'm thinking like the iconic London system would be really, really nice. So the super smoother blurring skin tint with my underglow blurring primer. For concealer, I was thinking of my LYS, but this has caught my eye, the Milk Makeup Future Fluid. Let's give this a try. And to set my skin, I'm gonna grab my MAC Studio Fix Pro Set and Blur. And for my under eyes, I'm gonna grab it in the next drawer actually. And I'm just gonna grab my brow stuff. I've been really enjoying the brow lift from e.l.f. again. And I'm gonna grab my Auburn pencil from Melt Cosmetics. Ooh, this might be fun. I didn't even know I had this. The Perfectionist Brow Pen from Melt Cosmetics. Universal Brown, that might work. Moving on to the next drawer, which is very, very cluttered right now. But this is what I was thinking for my under eye powder. I saw someone set their under eyes using this powder on top here and it was stunning on them in the video. So I wanna try that out for myself. This is the Kleidos Symphony Contour Trio in the shade light. Ooh, I'm thinking these would be a good idea today. These give like a very airbrushed kind of look, but I still wanted a cream. And for my highlighter, I kinda wanna be nostalgic and I wanna use my Becca highlighter. For my blush, I don't want anything too vibrant. I want something kind of beigey. So I was thinking like the Gucci Beauty Blush in the shade 05 would be really nice. There's no way I'm gonna open this with one hand. I won't be able to do it, I don't think. But now I'm determined. Oh, I did it. Yeah, something along this kind of tone. This would be really pretty. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm going to limit myself to those two blushes or else I'm gonna get flustered. Now for lips, I kind of want a similar tone. I was thinking of which one is it here? This gloss here from Clinique, Air Kiss Pop, or one of my classic favorites, the Laura Mercier gloss in Rose 125. And just in case I want to even out my lips because I sadly have been biting my lips a ton, I'm gonna grab Teddy 2.0 as my base color. Now for eyeshadow palettes, I've been meaning to switch around this drawer i kind of want to put smaller palettes back there i don't know but i feel like i need my soft glam essentials palette which is the makeup by mario master mattes and from down here i need my cream colored pencil for my waterline so my melt waterline pencil in ivory and i'm also going to grab my mascara i'm feeling this one today and I'm not going to use any shimmers, so I don't think I need anything from here, but I just, I love looking at this drawer. Little pots and stuff like this just make me so happy. I have a feeling I'm going to get lost in the storytelling of today's video, so I'll have everything listed on screen, as well as linked in the description box if you wanna know what products I'm using. And I also wanted to preface this video by saying I am going to be concentrating on the bad, um, parts about these two dates with this guy. Of course, this guy had some of the qualities I was looking for in a partner. I thought he was really funny and he had some interesting things about him, but overall I saw too many red flags. But to be fair, he probably saw a lot of red flags in me because I just, I didn't like him. <laughs> and now looking back at this time, I don't know why I went on the second date. <laughs> and you're probably going to be asking why the frick I went on a second date but I was in such a weird headspace at the time. It had been a really, really long time since I felt attracted to someone, to someone who was attainable anyways. I, I was only attracted to unattainable men like Pedro Pascal and Adam Driver, which that doesn't really help me. But yeah, I was in a really weird headspace. I was checked out. I was a little concerned on what was happening, but thankfully I have someone in my life now who I love to look at. I think he's beautiful and he has every single quality I was looking for and more and I am the happiest I've ever been with anyone. It's just been a dream. <laughs> and I'm just 
really beyond attracted to him. So thankfully that weird phase is done. But now getting into it. So these two dates took place uh, in February this year. I had met this guy off Hinge. I thought he was cute and he was a different type of guy than I usually went for, which I wanted because obviously the type I was going for before, they weren't working out. <laughs> And this guy was a little bit younger. Uh, I used to go for older guys, like kind of in the 28 to 32 range, but this guy I believe was 23 or 24. And we hit it off as good as you can on Hinge, I guess. We had good texting chemistry because you can beat anyone through text and you have all the time in the world to formulate the perfect text. So I always take texting chemistry with the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest grain of salt. And we matched kind of in an inconvenient time because I was heading out on a three week vacation. So I was expecting things to kind of fizzle out. If I met the guy online, I usually like to meet them right away just so I didn't like waste any time or anything, but things didn't fizzle out. We continued to text through my vacation and we also did a few phone calls too, which looking back, I remember they always felt kind of forced on my end, couldn't seem to catch a flow, but I just blamed that on nerves. And I was like, maybe that's because I haven't met him yet in person. So I blamed it on that. <laughs> Fast forward three weeks, I'm back home and I'm like, boy, plan the date. And I liked getting them to plan the date, especially if I met them online, because it was always very telling on what they were looking for. So he came up with a date. He offered that we'd meet at Valley Village to do some thrifting and then we could go to H Mart because they're kind of side by side. And it wasn't my ideal idea for a first date, but I was just happy it was something out and about. So I was down. So now we meet up, he's dressed really nicely, he smells good, he's cute, but I was like, there's no immediate connection. I was like, there's no vibe there. I was like, uh-uh. But at the same time, I was like, girl, that's way too soon. You don't even know him yet. Like maybe this is your fear. Maybe you're trying to be avoidant right now. I swear, it felt like I had a little angel and a little devil fighting against each other on my shoulders like the old cartoons <laughs> so we continue with the date thankfully we didn't stay too long at Valley Village because I found it really hard to like look at things and be normal and then come up with date conversations I always find thrift stores to be a little bit overstimulating especially because I have ADHD so on top of that being like a first date it was a lot but thankfully we left soon and we headed over to H Mart which this is where the red flags begin <laughs> so he grabbed one of those pulley baskets it's like not like a normal cart nor a basket that you hold it's like one of those that you pull behind you and while we were going up and down the halls if i were to like stop and look at something i remember feeling a hand kind of graze or lightly cup my butt and i was like whoa that's a lot on a first date so i brought it up a few times in a jokingly matter being like what you doing there? Like, like expressing that I caught him or like kind of stop it, but it kept happening and I had already found myself getting annoyed and I had to get a little bit more stern. Like you haven't even held my hand yet. Why are you trying to cup my butt? <laughs> So I grab a few drinks that I love getting there. There's this one drink that I get every time I visit H Mart. I think it's called like Coco Palm or something. And it's this peach juice with coconut jelly cubes inside. And it's such a fun treat. So I was so excited to pick up one of those. And then we move to the bakery area and he's looking at the milk bread buns and he starts to kind of squeeze them. And he looks down at my boobs. And I was like, hey, like stop. Like that joke would be so funny with someone you're already comfortable with, but just because it was just too sudden and we hadn't built up anything yet, it just came off a little off-putting to me. And I remember him being like, just kidding, just kidding. That's how I joke with my sisters. And I was like, that's how you joke with your sisters? And I don't remember what he said after that, but I really hope he like disavowed what he said. I was just too busy being icked out and disturbed. <laughs> I was like, why did that even come out of your mouth, dude? I was just speechless. So the H Mart experience was a whole ick for me. But that was it. That was everything he had planned. And then he was like, do you want to go to this cafe so we can kind of just talk and get to know each other? I was like, sure. Maybe he was nervous. Who knows? It's a first date after all. So I'm going to give him a little bit more of a chance. So we both drive separately to this cute cafe. We sit on this really, really cozy couch. It was actually such a comfortable couch and I do wanna go back to that cafe cause it was freaking cute. But then I noticed he brought in the drinks we bought at H Mart and I was like, I don't know if that's a really polite thing to do to drink your own drinks at a cafe. I was like, I don't know if we should open those up 
but he proceeds to open them up anyways. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God. I mean, they're open and they're cans. They're not like bottled drinks that you can close the cap. So I try a sip of his and he tries a sip of mine and he decides he likes mine better. So what does he do? He proceeds to drink the entire thing. My treat I was looking forward to so much. I usually bring them home and I film with them. I love having a fun drink while I film, but yeah, he drank it, which I didn't really mind in this scenario because I didn't want to look like the one who brought my own drink to a cafe. So in that instance, I was just like fine. But at the same time, I was like, don't touch my drink. Like, what are you doing? Still, that baffles me. This highlighter is so pretty, stunning. Anyways, what's the next part? Thankfully I took notes because I didn't want to forget any little part for you guys because there's so much, there's actually so much. But at this place, I will say that we did start to have some good conversation and some good back and forth. Um, I didn't really feel any romantic vibes though. I felt more like little brother vibes or like a guy friend vibes. Like it was just really kind of roasting humor. It was just not the type of bond I was looking for relationship wise, you know, it was just kind of more fun. And oh my goodness, this next part, you guys. Oh my goodness. I don't even know why I let this happen. I remember in the moment I kind of zoned out and I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to tell my friends this. This is so weird. So buckle up. Um, so after having a couple sips of those sugary drinks, my teeth felt funny and I wanted to grab a piece of gum from my purse to hopefully like help that situation. So I reach for a piece of gum and he asks to see what I have in my purse, which I totally thought he was kidding, but he wasn't. He then proceeds to go through my purse. But I just had my little one that only held like three things, like my phone, my credit cards, and my gum, I guess. <laughs> so I didn't really have anything to hide, but I was like, what a weird thing to do on a first date. Like, what else are you gonna invade on later on, you know? Like looking back, I was like, what was going through my head? I was like, oh, I have nothing to hide in there. Like there's nothing really private in there. So I don't really mind you going through it, but that wasn't even, the worst of it <laughs> because he then proceeds to eat every single piece of gum I had in my purse. No word of a lie. So he had just this big glob of gum with crusty minty parts on the side of his mouth. I don't know what he was expecting for me to think after that. Like, boy, there is no kisses for you. I don't care how minty your mouth smells now. That was baffling. That was baffling. This blush is so nice. I went with the Gucci Beauty blush, but I don't think I'm done with it. I want a little bit on my forehead, but yeah, I couldn't believe he ate every single piece of my gum. It's gotta be one of the weirdest dates I've ever been on. Like almost weirder than the one that literally ran away from me, which I've told you guys before. I think that was almost a year ago now, but thankfully I knew the cafe was closing soon. So I knew the date was going to end soon, but oh boy, it wasn't over yet. So after the purse debacle, I got my purse back and he puts his hand on my thigh, like not high up or anything, kind of like closer to my knee, but he grabs like the inner part where it's like more sensitive and squishy and he squeezes it so hard. And I literally like went out and I said, ow, like pretty loudly. I remember a few people looked <laughs> and I was like, don't do that. And he proceeds to like kind of lean in and he says, should we talk about sex? I literally laughed in his face and I said, no, like, what are you talking about? Like, dude, get a freaking grip. But now thinking back on what I just said, maybe he lied about his age on his profile because that is such a young thing to say or like so immature. And I wish I was embellishing. I think I'm under embellishing all of this just to make it palatable. It was so weird, you guys. I can't imagine what my facial expressions were like during all of this because I can't hide them. Whatever I'm thinking shows on my face. So the cafe is getting ready to close, thank goodness. And we're done and we leave. Before I get in my car and leave, he asks if I wanted to go to brunch the next day. And I don't know why I said yes, but I did. Maybe for the plot, maybe for entertainment value for you guys and my friends. Mostly because I hadn't processed what just happened yet. I was mostly just looking at the good and I really liked how funny he was and how funny I was with him. And remember you guys, remember my headspace. I was not fully there. I was so in my head at the time. I think I just really wanted to like someone. I just wanted to feel what it felt like to like someone again because it had been so long at that point. Hold on, I just need to concentrate on my brows here because they're gonna set. I guess before we get into the brunch portion, um, I'm gonna have a little brow intermission so I can prime my eyes. <laughs> so please enjoy that. 
I think we all need a, a breather. So fast forward to the following day, we meet up at the brunch place and this brunch place is very, very busy. So we had to put our names down. And in the meantime, we decided to go to another cafe while we waited out. And I remember I expressed to him so many times before that I do not like playing board games. I try, but I just, it's just not for me. I don't know why I don't like them. Like I only learned a few years ago that it was spelt board game instead of actually bored. Like I'm bored out of my mind game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't like playing board games, but I try, I try back to the story. But what does he do? He pulls out a board game. I was like, oh yeah, okay. He's already not listening to me and we spent like maybe a whole of three hours together. <laughs> like what's gonna happen at six hours? Hold on a second, I'm just gonna tight line using the brown one now. I just used the black one to do this smudgy line. And I'm also going to throw this on my water line down here, but I'm not going to completely connect it. I'm going to just leave a little space blank down there. Okay, and I'm smudging whatever is on my lash line here to form like kind of a little hint of a double wing. And I remember expressing to him like, oh, I don't know if I'm really, I don't know if I really feel like playing a board game, but he sets it up anyways. So yeah, I completely check out and that's when my little angel and my little devil get on the same page too. <laughs> um, now I'm taking this cream pencil. I'm just gonna highlight this area here just to sharpen this up. I remember I Snapchatted my mom about the board game and she was like, oh, come on, <laughs> like get a grip, dude. Um, but anyways, we make it back to the brunch place now. I just remember coming up with conversation at brunch was really, really hard. So fast forward to when we're almost done brunch, he asked if he could try on one of my rings. And I was like, sure, you can try. And he does, and I remember it fit him very, very loosely. And I noticed his fingernails, they were like almost as long as mine right now, and they were dirty. And physical touch is my number one. And I remember at that point, I was like, I don't want this guy to ever touch me ever again. So that was like my final, final confirmation that this was not my guy. The dirty fingernails was the ick of all icks for me. I just could not deal with the dirty long fingernails and i remember i got home and i felt so entirely drained i just kind of took a nap and reflected on what had just occurred and then i was like you know what this guy is not for me i don't want to waste any more of his time or my time so i texted him saying like hi um i really appreciate your time i just don't really feel a romantic connection but i really appreciate you taking me out and giving this a shot it's just it's not going to work out and then he proceeded to send me a very very rude text <laughs> which i honestly was kind of grateful for because it was just extra confirmation that i made the right decision i think he sent that out of feeling like rejected and hurt i felt immediately relieved and i just knew i made the right choice and that is the end of those two dates that was all that happened in a span of maybe three hours in total what do you guys think about that um <laughs> i kind of can't believe i went on that second date still but i guess i'm happy that it was entertaining i know my friends were sat they were listening <laughs> I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes and do my mascara quickly and then we'll finish off with the lips And here's the eye look with mascara. I feel like this is such a fun eye look. Just this outer corner detail helps to open up the eye so much, especially for having so much eyeliner in the center of the eye. Oh, I forgot I wanted to try this out again. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Twist and Light Powder in the shade Light. I know I was teasing this, um, this story for a while. I hope I... Did it justice? I'm kind of feeling left speechless here. I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I just, what a weird date, huh? I'm now going to line my lips using the Makeup Forever 602 pencil. Okay, 
Ooh, I don't know if I like this powder today. This finishing powder made my skin look too shiny or something. Kind of scaly or something. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> feel like a fish scale. I'm gonna add a touch of this on my bottom lip just to kind of even it out. This is Teddy 2.0 from MAC. Yeah, kind of add some coverage to the place I was, I was munching. <laughs> and then I think I wanna go in with this one. I'm very curious to see what it looks like. This is the Creamy Lip Gloss from Clinique in the shade 07 Air Kiss Pop. And it's really cute. It's like a collaboration with Kate Spade, so the cap is cute. That is perfection. Okay, and here is my finished makeup. I'm now going to go on a fun date with my boyfriend. <laughs> and that's going to be it for me today, you guys. It, like that wasn't just a lot. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll link and list everything I used in today's video in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.